Uh, welcome to a new video and this video is about the new flagship KZ Tsar. So let's get started. The new flagship IEM from KZ is called Tsar or Z-A-R, Tsar maybe. And this is the yeah, pretty unspectacular box where we have like this one sticker where you can see the specifications of this IEM. And yeah, it comes in this typical KZ fashion with this door that you open up and then it is greeting you with the uh, earbuds themselves that are already put out as well as the metal plate here that tells you the um, specifications of this KZ Lazar. And we also have uh, more stuff in here, like for example the cable that I already put out, as well as some ear tips that we have a lot of them here, and a warranty card and the user guide as well as you can see here. So this is what comes included, pretty unspectacular, we know KZ already. Let's talk about the earbuds themselves because they look like this hooked on a cable as you can see here and the cable is a very good braided cable that I like that they already shipped with the uh, PR1 Pro and uh, yeah the termination is a three and a half millimeter uh, jack as you can see here made out of metal so it's very very cool and sturdy and I like this braided cable even though it is missing uh, a chin slider, a chin slider here, a chin cinch, I think it's called. A very complicated name. Anyway, um, try to pronounce it or say it five times after uh, after each other. So anyway, uh, this is the cable. I like this cable very much. It has this preformed ear hook uh, memory. As well as like you might see it eventually here we have the braided part still and here we have a plastic part around the braided that's making it stiff. This is the free uh, or preformed hook for the ear so I can put it then to just take a look. Yeah, this is the left ear. Put it then on my left ear like this and then we have it hanging here like this and this is perfect for microphonics. No microphonics at all on this headphone um, whatsoever. Even I pull here, I don't hear any rattling noises inside of my head which is pretty fine. And the same goes for the other side as well and you can see that it is fitting fine as well. Let's talk a little bit about the design of the buds themselves. So we have, first of all, um, yeah, the transparent casing here that we know from uh, KZ already. You can see it maybe a little bit harder to see here, but it's semi-transparent and we have this metal plate here on the outside that has some ventilation holes, at least it looks like ventilation holes. And also I think here on the side they have some holes, do they? Or oh, was it the other KZ? I have so many KZ IEMs. I'm glad that KZ is sending them to me. You know, this one, I think they don't have those ventilation holes, but they have only the ones that here on this side. And it looks pretty cool and stylish. What I really like about them is the form here in the inside. You can see like this uh, kind of a uh, little bit protruding here and then very very smooth here because it's perfect for my ear, it fits perfect for my ear even better than the one from the PR1 Pro that look like this as you can see that have nothing like this and uh, pretty flat here uh, so yeah this is definitely better a better form that fits me a bit better reminds me a lot of the fit and finish that I have with the SA08 Pros as well the true wireless ones that have the same kind of fit and finish uh, same form and it fits perfectly nice it's sealing wonderfully so I hear myself very muffled right now with uh, those in my ears I have the largest how they're called um, are those ear tips the largest that I could find here uh, with this uh, pattern here spring no they're, they're called oh, I forgot how they're called but you can see those uh, tips here they have this like pattern which allows them to also breathe a little bit in the ear which is nice and seal it very nicely you can see that the nozzle itself is not 
going too deep I would say so it's a semi deep fit that you can achieve with them and if I put them in my ear you will see that when you see my profile from the front that they are protruding a little bit reminds me it's not so bad as on the AS16 Pro that are very very big and if I put them in my ear they're protruding a lot more just like for comparison sakes Let's put them in the ear and you will see yeah it's protruding a lot more here you can really feel it because it's so much thicker as well so yeah this is not so bad because you fit it I, I have the feeling that it's fitting more inside of the ear better but still sleeping on those I wouldn't really do because it's like pressing pressing uh, pressing my ear too much there on the side there so this is in, in film in terms of fit and finish and so on i like the cable i like the form it fits perfectly for my ear so a good job kz on that matter then i have to get my cheat sheet because we are talking about the sound and i will also show you the sound curve that i didn't measure but someone else trustworthy measured it uh, when i'm talking about the typical sound that you get with the kz uh, that are uh czar czar however you want to call it a typical kz i would say it's a flagship and what they did is yeah the sound signature that they are used to have from a couple of years basically they fine-tuned it in this version here with newer ba drivers we have uh, eight drivers in total seven ba drivers one dynamic driver here i think the dynamic is new and also the ba drivers some of them at least are new so we get the typical very warm kind of sound with a lot of bass on this KZ. But it is not like a bass, just like to be bass there, to rumble. It's a very detailed bass, which I really, really like. And it's punchy. It's punchy as well. It can go very, very, very deep. But this is also a dark kind of IEM. That means we have a lot of bleeding into the mids. And this makes everything... Yeah, kind of warm. Even even voices, um, especially your female voices, are very very warm on this IEM. Though they can be also at a certain point when they are getting a bit too high. You notice this that immediately. Okay, probably it's not the it's not the um, dynamic driver playing those it's the ba driver playing playing those because they sound different than those like a little bit lower female voices that you uh, hear you can hear it i at least heard it uh, we have the rest of the mids that are very very good no issues at all with them a bit recess is a typical v-shape of course we have highs those highs are good i would say they're not artificial just like on the zna which were just simply bad <laughs> they sound very very artificial uh, artificially raised there those are way way better those highs but they lack a little bit of clarity there so the full clarity that you get from a moon drop for example a moon drop carto that i have here you don't get with those here for sure uh, we have this missing openness the missing crispy crispiness in the in the highs for, for sure this is something of course that some people are missing uh, maybe on those here but others were ah, the kz uh, are a bit better sounding because here moon drop for example they yeah, are a bit harsh sounding they're a bit tiring for me for my ears i don't like this crispiness i don't like this so much emphasis on highs so these are more um, for those people who like those kind of darkish uh, sound um, that that is even a bit darker than the AS16 Pro, I would say, because this can be a little bit, I will not so harsh sounding, but they can be a little bit uh, more in the higher frequencies where they sound a little bit more open, a, bit, a little bit more sibilant maybe. So these are a bit more rounded off, more cooled down. You don't have any issues at all with highs on those for sure even those people who are like a little bit sensitive when it comes to highs so no issues at all these are definitely also just like almost all the other case that's engaging in the sound i would say so they're really pumping you they're it's basically the ba base is there to get your blood pump uh, pumped in, in uh, sports activities or so on so this is very very good i like this uh, especially with uh, this year and the, these are definitely the best kz's that i heard with the original kz base kind of uh, emphasize uh, so better than the a16 pro better than uh, than the zna 
Not better though, I would say, because it's a different kind of pair of shoes. I would say these are in parallel to the PR1 Pro. The PR1 Pro is more yeah, what people would call audiophile kind of sound, more balanced kind of sound for sure, the PR1 Pro. And these are the flagships for this balanced kind of, kind of sound. Um, get a bit of punch in the bass there, but overall it is very, very one of the most balanced KZ um, earbuds that I ever heard. And those are the opposite. Those are the punchy, the engaging, the bassy kind of very warm kind of KZs that are doing very well, not only in the bass, also in the mid-range, even though it's a bit bleeding there, but especially also in the high. So you can also listen. And I was very surprised when I was listening to a, a only vocal kind of song that they were just quite nice with them. I didn't even notice much of a difference in comparison to them here even, which is pretty astonishing, I have to say. I was very, very positively surprised by them because I know it completely different from the AS16 Pro that has like eight BA drivers on each side. Here we have like seven uh ba drivers and one dynamic on each side but nevertheless it is doing a very very good job like i said more bass on the low end and more details than the pr1 pros in the bass department uh, and also in uh, when it comes to as 16 pro that are a bit brighter sometimes sounding even than those here, but those feel just a bit more detailed there as well, as well as the soundstage on the AS16 Pro, they sound like being on one layer, one level. And with those here, I have a soundstage where I can hear top, bottom, left, right, front and back. So more 360 kind of sound stage that I can uh, hear with the uh, KZ Zara, which I really, really like, or Zara. <laughs> um, you can definitely like it because of this engaging kind of sound. If it is something that I would not listen to every day to music because I like those a little bit better than the PR1 Pros, but this is my personal taste. Maybe there are people out there that like this kind of warmish kind of taste or just people who want besides those here a bit of more engaging warmish kind of sound for certain um, scenarios when you want to listen to sound or just want to have something new. And these are perfect for this. The only issue that I see with them is like KZ is doing this since a few years already and the price of those here are as much as this here the pr1 pros the pr1 pros i would say it's a planar driver so yes it's justified those here it's bas and one dynamic driver and you can get this kind of like it's seven bas for sure but you can get this also cheaper air 16 pro for example though it's so good that I would say uh, maybe those people who like it very much, the KZ original sound, that they have to upgrade from an older device or something, or just want to have a bit more defined kind of thing, they could imagine, they could think about this here, could imagine buying those. Otherwise, it's just like a bit too expensive, in my opinion, uh, on this end. But I can like it very much with this bass and um, rock pop music sounds very, very good with those. I can even imagine, even though I think the, oops, the voices are a bit too close to my ear. So they're not the sound, the sound stage I was talking about 360 is there definitely. But the, when it comes to vocals, they're like more here. They're not directly there, but they are here. Uh, and they're not like in a 3D kind of realm. They're more like here. Uh, directly very close to your ears which might on certain movies uh, not be or tv series not be the best uh, on the other hand tv series especially the the, the original english speaking one english speaking one i always have the feeling they they have the mics like turned too much down so the dub versions are sounding much much better much clearer much more understandable uh, so this might be helping for those people who have issues with those <laughs> um, otherwise yeah, not too bad with the, the, the vocal tracks as well, though it's a bit warm. Um, I really like those. I, what, what, what can I say? The, the only thing that I see here as a downside might be the price a little bit with those. Otherwise, if you like KZ, the original, original KZ sound, this is the best that you can get right now, period. The best KZ with the original KZ, very bassy, very warm kind of sound you can get with those here. So that's basically everything for this little video. Hope you enjoyed it. You can find, of course, a link to the KZ Zars as well. K 
case it's Zar as well. Um, and uh, yeah, that's everything for this video. If you have some comments and uh, other things like, <sighs> I have a video about the KZ PR1 Pros as well, even though not as high quality kind of video as this one here because I'm using a different camera. Um, but nevertheless, the, the content is good as well here of the KZ PR1 Pros. These are in the same ballpark, same leak. PR1 Pros, more balanced kind of sound, I would say more clear high, more crispiness, um, not so much emphasis on bass, and these the opposite, emphasis on bass, the typical KZ sound, so you have, you can choose your poison here basically right now, and you don't go wrong with any of those because they are very, very good, even though I would say maybe price-wise they could be like 20 kind of, maybe 30 euros uh, cheaper. Um, nevertheless, uh, this I think it's 80 euros here right now. Is for 50 euros I would say no brainer, but for 80 euros, um, yeah, you have to decide on your own. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.